end of course, algebra one. This is Tennessee end of course, algebra one practice test. This is question number 22. The question says a lawn can be mowed at an average rate of 44 square feet per minute, which looks like this. What is the closest to this rate in square yards per second? So I'm trying to go down to yards squared per second. There's a couple things that I need to think about. First off, I need to consider converting this feet squared to yards squared. Now, it wouldn't, I mean, we had, can look on the formulas page to see if there's a conversion for that. But since we're doing length and capacity and weight, and this is a conversion between customary and metric, we're going to have to use something that's there but isn't explicitly given because this is a square unit and so is this. But I can find a relationship between feet and yard. So I have three feet per yard. What I'm going to try to do is eliminate the feet. So they'll, like before, five divided by five is one. So if you have feet on the top and feet on the bottom, they would eliminate. But this is feet squared. So in order to do that, I'm still going to use that uh, conversion just in a different way. Three feet for every one yard. Now, that's the relationship of just the single one-dimensional measurement, but what happens if I square it? I just need to square that entire uh, that entire term. And now, I need to get the minutes to seconds, so I know that a minute has uh, 60 seconds, so maybe I would just want to eliminate minutes first, so uh, 60, oh, sorry, one minute, made a mess there, one minute is 60 seconds. As you can see, since I have a minute on the top and bottom, those cancel. And once I get this done, I'll have feet squared eliminated. So yard squared per second is what's going to be left. Now I'm going to rewrite this component, or uh, this multiplication like series below. I'm actually going to do it way down here. 44 feet per second over one minute times. Now one to the second power is just one. Then I'll make yard squared. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 feet squared, times 1 minute over 60 seconds. Now I can cancel up my minutes, my feet squared, so all I'm left with is yard squared per 60 seconds. And there's a couple ways I can go about dealing with this. If you can make fractions, it's the simplest way. And remember, you're multiplying these terms together. It gives you 11 over 135, or fraction decimal, which is 0 0.081. I could also do, if I prefer, which means that the answer is G, by the way. Sorry, you can't see any of that. 0 0.081, the answer is G. I could also just do the uh, 44 times 1 times uh, 1 again, not really necessary, and then make sure I divide by everything in the denominator. I can do that in a group or I can do it individually. Same thing, and then I'll just go up here and pick G. So the answer to number 22 is G. Make sure when you're working with squared units that you square that conversion once you write it down.